In this video, we'll see the importance of address resolution protocol. So to talk to each other, computers need two things, IP address and MAC address. Now, I know the IP addresses of the PCs that I want to get to, so let's see how we find out the MAC address. So I'll try and ping 10.0.0.2, and you can see there's two packets generated. One is ICMP, but it's missing the layer 2 header. And the second packet is ARP packet, which is going out to the network as a broadcast. It's asking for the MAC address of 10.0.0.2. It's got the source information already in there, and this is going to be a broadcast. The 10.0.0.2 PC will now reply as a unicast message to my PC. So all the details are now complete. I can see the source IP address and MAC address and my own MAC address and IP address. Now the ICMP packet will have those details. The ICMP packets start going to and from and I can see the reply coming from 10.0.0.2. Now when I do it the next time, the ARP process doesn't happen again. And the reason for that is ARP cache. The computer stores the ARP information locally, and you can see there you've learned the MAC address for the following IP address. But what happens if I try and ping a new IP address, dot three, say? That entire process is now repeated again, and now you're looking for the MAC address of 10.0.0.3. And after that happens, you can see the ERP cache is updated, and now you know the MAC address for 10.0.0.3. That's ERP. Thank you.